ఓం శ్రీ సాయిరాం ప్రేమాంజన చురిత భక్తి విలోచనేన సంత సదైవ హృదయేషు విలోకయంతి యత్ శ్యామసుందర అచింత గుణస్వరూపం పత్తీసం ఆదిపురుషం నమహం తహం భజ తమహం భజామి ప్రేమాంజన చురిత భక్తి విలోచనేన హ్యావింగ్ కమ్ టు నో ఫ్రమ్ భగవాన్ దట్ సర్వీస్ ఈ ది హైయెస్ట్ సాధన in order to reach god and that kind of service you should do it with faith and love if you do that such kind of a devotees sadaiva always they will be experiencing god within themselves that god is yet shyamasundara achinta gunasvarupam yet that shyamasundara means generally we say shyamasundara means uh, we can't talk about lord krishna but that is the literary meaning but the spiritual meaning of shyam sundara is shama means celestial body we have deha our deha means human body and uh, gods they have celestial bodies so among the celestial bodies his body is most sundara most beautiful therefore shyam sundara then what is the difference between shama and deha human deha for we have to adjust our our requirements according to the nature in during cold we have to wear warm clothes and during the summer we wear cotton clothes and summer we may take cold water bath in winter we take hot water bath but for swami winter or cold same dress and same hot water even in the morning if i like cold water even in the morning or in the evening or summer or no summer just for example in the, in the month of may swami we were in uh, particular on the day heavy rain too much of cloudy too much of rain power was failure so we went back after 7 o'clock after the food morning we were supposed to come there at 6 o'clock to be ready so the swami comes down at 6:15 for breakfast so we were ready but naturally we could not have bath because first of all no water no hot water so with the hot with the cold water just wash our face and then you came back and uh, swami came had his uh, we were all had his breakfast we all seated before him he was just removing his hair one by one by like, like this then i thought uh, probably both are curly hair and uh, hey, what swami we don't have a hair brush i don't know the hair brush is that are there but uh, the, the i had a bath at about 4 o'clock in the morning acha how to swami there was geyser but no geyser bad no no question of generator you took cold water bath at 4 o'clock in the morning yes that's all that is the ex- that is the experience of celestial god celestial body so therefore that itself will show oh, who swami, what swami is who swami is what is the difference between swami and we that kind of achinta guna swarupam achinta mean always uh, so, no sorrowful always peaceful always blissful achinta chinta means for achinta means no sorrow for him guna swarupam embodiment of all divine manifestations he is nothing else but shyam sundara prapati sam prati plus isa isa means controller prati means cap- name of a town so he is the controller of a particular town which is the spiritual capital of the entire world achinta guna swarupam prati sam adipurusham adipurusham supreme personality of god and tamaham we all worship him we offer our respectful obeisance to him sai ram to all of you now the point is which is the highest sadhana to reach god it is something like in asking a question you are a sportsman i want to join in olympic games there are hundreds of events are there you can get any any take any particular event practice it and get the gold medal choice is yours similarly here to reach god there are several methods mentioned especially in kali yuga in the case of previous yugas there was no temples there was no question of uh, doing rituals and all those things in those days only tapas tapas and tapas and nothing else or if you want to have a, 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 a devotion leave the house and go be humble be uh, sir, ask for food This is the, the, the things which taught in uh, uh, Ramaskam, 
Death Ayaga and also in Dwaparanga. There was no temple in those days. But now, because of Kali Yuga, people are short lived and also they, 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 have, they have no power to control their mind. Therefore, in this particular Kali Yuga, they have given a lot of festivals in order to see that the continuity of not forgetting God is there. This kind of facility, festival facilities were not there in Rama's Kaam and Krishna's Kaam. For example, Vinayaka Chaturthasi. No, there is no Vinayaka Chaturthasi in Ramayana. No Vinayaka Chaturthasi in Krishna. <coughs> Similarly, Vaipata Yaka, we have so many things. Every, every month there is one or two festivals are there. The idea is to continuity. Your mind is weak. People in the Kali Yuga, people are weak. Therefore, in order to continuity, they put it like this. So, therefore, they want to give easiest method for these people. For Kali Yuga, Swami said, Swami has given, as I said, there are a lot, so many events are there in Olympic game. Swami also has given so many events to us. To start with, Bhajan. In Bhajan, if you are able to go extremely well and experience me losing your body conscious, you can reach me. Examples are there. Tukaram is there. So, Purata Das is there, Kanaka Das is there, Meera is there. They did not study Vedas, they did not go for tapas, they did not go to any school, there is no question of gurukulam for them, but they love God. So, you, what, what did the similar Badrachar Ramadas, our Metras, Tamil Nadu, uh, Tagaraja, they all lived, they enjoyed the experience of Bhagavan and they lived there for them, there is no more, but they reached God. So, what does it indicate to us? So, if we also have the same faith, same love and continuity, sadhana means spiritual, uh, spiritual practice continuously, that is sadhana. So, this continuously means, you know, you see, in the, for example, how many putas, take in the case of our, our Tagaraja, his brother was so upset with him, the way he knew she was, Always talking about Rama, Rama, Rama and all those things. Whatever he wrote about Rama, he put it in the river. He put it in the river. He does not think he went to, he went to search up the, those scriptures. Everybody, once you take it up, you see the end of it. There is no question of failure. No question of failure. So that is the reason why in Kali Yuga, what you did, how much do you love Swami? Whether you love for namesake, no, I, I went there, he, he was not there, so I came back. That's not the answer. The moment you go there, you must achieve, achieve and get it done 100%. Then only it is called sadhana. So therefore, Swami said, I have given you a bhajan, I have given you a study circle, I have given you a hearing, I have given you a, a, a hearing or lectures. You can also give a lecture, seva. So he has given method, uh, human values, so many, so many things he has given. For, choose any one you like, be an expert in that. That expert comes in provided <coughs> you have faith and love in me. How much of faith do you have in me? Do you expect, do you expect me? Can uh, that? Uh, do you see me as God? Or do you see me as uh, Satya Sai Baba in physical 5 feet 3 inches height? It's for you to choose. If you, see, if you see my divinity, then that is faith. If you see my human form, that is not faith. That, that is like seeing your father, mother, sister, brother, something like that. So you must see my divinity. My divinity. That's what Swami says in Telugu. Dannu anubavichinava. What does it mean? Did you experience me? What is there to experience? To experience is love. That love comes in provided you take him, you give 100% faith on him. If you do not have that kind of a faith, no love comes to you. So, basic to, uh, to, uh, to reach him, what you need is two. One is faith, other is love. If this faith is unconditional, unwavering, unalloyed, there is no question of changing. Today, uh, uh, my faith is 100%, tomorrow 80%, day after tomorrow 75%, no, 100%, always 100%, that kind of a faith. And Swami also puts you some tests in this. For example, you want to get a degree in the university. Everybody wants degree, but how many people are prepared to write the exam? They are afraid. They are afraid, oh, let us buy some guide books or let us copy, something like that. There are studious people, they work from the beginning, from the beginning till the end, they are prepared to face the exam. 
So those who come in the middle, they do not know how to face the exam. Either they do adopt other, other things and they fail. So similarly here, if you want to have God, start from the beginning. Swami's speech what? Start early, reach, drive slowly, reach safely. What does it mean? Start early. That is the reason why Swami has started for Balaka's classes. <clears throat> that today, the parents are not taking care of their children. Just because Balaka's gurus are there, the children are trained to some extent to have faith. But same love of parents showed in him, the boy would have been very beautiful. The boy, so therefore, faith and love come from mother and father, then guru. That's why Mata, Pita, Guru, Daiva, we say that. So our Balaka's guru, Swami said, you are not, a, even though you, you are not a, a, for educational qualification, be it is necessary to teach, to teach in the government colleges. Here, not less than, here you must have faith and love. The same faith and love should the, convey, pass on to the children, pass on to the children. You, you start from that faith and love, as you keep on growing, your faith also should increase. If faith, if it does not increase, then you are not a candidate for uh, enjoying his presence and love. See, small example again. A small baby, three months old baby, she cries for the sake of, because she's hungry. Whether she, can, whether she can cry at one o'clock in the night, she does not know what it is. She wants hungry, she wants milk, that's all. So the mother has to come, mother has to come forward to give the baby milk, a change the diaper, and see that after a year, a year or two, after an hour or two, she spends with the child, then only she goes to bed. This is known as demonic quality in man. Demonic quality means I want. I don't bother whether you like it, whether you don't like it. I want it at all costs. That is demonic quality. The same child, after a year, five years later, and whenever she's hungry, Mommy, I'm hungry. Whenever she's hungry, she asks for it. Otherwise, she don't ask. That is animal mindedness. Animal go for hunting when she's hungry. Once she's full, even at that time, even if a deer goes there, the lion keeps quiet because it does not require. The same five-year-old boy, five year old boy, when it comes to 20 year old, he asks, Mommy, I'm going for shopping. Do you want anything to buy? So he buys and he also buys for mother. Live and let live. Then later on, he does not go, Mommy, what is it you want? I'm here to help you, to help you, surrender you. That is called divinity. The divinity comes because of the faith the, the mother has shown on him. You have to reciprocate that faith in him, in, in him towards your mother. So similarly here, what is the faith that you are reciprocate towards God? God accepts you as his child. God accepts you as a devotee. And he comes, he loves you, he smiles at you. What reciprocation? What is the reciprocation? You are not here to receive, you must also give. You must also give. So that kind of a giving, it comes in, provided your faith is abundantly 100%. It does not reduce to any extent. 100% pure. Without faith, nothing, nothing can be done. Nothing can be done. So that faith, unwavering faith, then comes love. What is this love? Do you ever, I ask so many people to ask, you know, we go a bit youngsters, do you love God? They say, yes, sir. Why do you love God? Oh, because he's God. Why do you love God? Because he is God. This is the answer I get easily. All right. If he, if he is not love God, if he is not God, then what will you do? No answer. No answer. So that means, is, is the love for God is conditional. It should be unconditional. You are now that is the reason why it is only in our organization, it is taught what is the purpose of your birth? What is the reason for your birth? And what is it that you are supposed to achieve? So purpose of birth is to for example join the college. What is the purpose of joining the college? In order to get a degree and get out of it. Otherwise you need not have to come. After joining the college, when you ask why what are the studying means, if he says I don't know. Then do you think you will get the degree? You won't get the degree. You may be a student, but you will not get the degree. So similarly, you are, you are a human. But what is the purpose of your life? No, I don't know. I don't know. Meet your animal in human form. That is Swami, in our organization, is first he taught is, you are born, you have to get back to your original place where you came from. That is the purpose of your life. That is your highest sadhana. That has to be achieved. In order to achieve that, 
several instructions A has been given. Take whichever you, take whichever you want, but complete it without any break. Without any break, if you complete it. In our organization, so children, you see children, see youngsters, elders, everybody. Everybody is busy with something. But you you cannot say, no, no, I would like to do this for some time. And second, second for some time. Third, for another thing. No, take one. Go to the 100% in that particular level. If it is bhajan, okay, forget about yourself. You see, Swami, how likes MS Suplex means bhajan? I don't know whether you know it or not. Once you know, we were in uh, Bangalore, right? Bangalore, Thraibundavan. We were discussing. I was also sitting there with, along with the senior leader. <coughs> and bhajan was about to start by MS Suplex. You know what Swami said? Uh, you, you please keep on talking. I'll just go there. I sit there for five minutes and come back. So Swami went to Bhajan. So we are sitting five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes. And Swami has not come. So all of us slowly went there and the people did what is going. Swami was seated in the front row, closing his eyes. And he's enjoying. He does not know what is going on outside. The M.S. Lakshmi is able to please the Lord in such a way that Swami and M.S. Lakshmi both are in ecstasy. That is called real love. That is called real love. And she stopped for a while, for about half a minute. At that time, Swami opened his eyes and said, Subhulakshmi, he said. So he went, went to the stair, went to the altar, and M.S. Lakshmi was there, and she was about to see the next one. And by closing his eyes, the moment he went there near, he said, again he shouted, shouted super like me. He saw Swami's lotus feet. He sat the lotus feet and Swami produced a huge uh, jab, uh, gold ring, gold chain. It's about, uh, according to me, it's about two feet or three feet. When she wears it, it comes up to her waistline. Such is the one with Lord Krishna. Then we, we saw all this, we ran away again, we sat and came, we sat and, we sat and came back. Came back and sat in our room and Swami said, You see, Swami, devotion, you know, I feel alarmed. I'm just caught. I'm tied up. I'm tied up. So I could not come. What does it indicate to you? Now you can imagine, do you ever simply explain, do you think she has reached God or not? We can know. Such kind of a devotion, why can't we? Well, why can't we? Never? She is in that particular singing. Okay. <coughs> there are so many other things. We have seva. You, we were giving some spiritual talk. Enjoy Bhagavan. We, you have to enjoy Bhagavan in every action of yours. Once, I went to Swami, and when Arjun Raja was there, and he, uh, Arjun Raja was the trust convener at the time, and I was the state president. Swami asked Arjun Raja, uh, Arjun Raja, Krishna Murthy, how is Krishna Murthy? He said, Swami, Swami, very good, Swami. Mm, he is only a part-time devotee. So everybody laughed. I also laughed. Then I came back to a room. I started wondering, what is this part-time devotee? Well, that means there must be a full-time devotee. So what is the difference between part-time devotee and a full-time devotee? So full-time devotee means eight hours a day. Part-time devotee is just like that whenever is needed. So do we say I should work for eight hours a day? 24 hours time is there. Eight hours sleeping, eight hours office, eight hours... All like... We have, I myself short of two hours. Out of his 24, the out had his other 8 hours. So I broke my head, I just went after 2 months. Swami, what is this Swami? You made me part-time devotee. I could not understand what is full-time devotee. He says, in Dhrunapota, Dhrunapota means, a buffalo, every act that you do is for me. You say like that, feel like that. Eating, for my sake. Bathing, for my sake. Walking, for my sake. You are sitting down for my state. You are sleeping for me. Every action of you is mine. That means you are not there. No ego. No selfishness. Automatically, I am with you. I'm you. Then you, I, you can be. You can at that time you can talk to me. That is called God coming in. You, I know. I don't require a big a point or a big education. Is I mean, all this not necessary. Or not necessary. You and I are one. Talk to me. God communion. People can achieve God highest degrees by God communion. Ms. Subhulakshmi by singing. We can talk God communion. We are not singing. We don't know experts, but what do you think? I am in touch with God. 
have have even in the moment when you go there, none know Alma Vichila Ava. Did you experience me? Now, what is the answer we should give? Oh, you must experience every action of that is we are nothing. I do nothing. I know nothing. I everything is done by God. You should have that feeling. Then that is the highest sadhana. Highest sadhana is you and I are one. I means God. You and I are one. That's what Swami says. We have to follow that. Show it in action. For that, for example, in the Kodakanal, oh, Swami gave a talk. When he gave a talk, he was talking to the people, he talking to the students. You see, the students, as long as they, they are in Puttaparthi and in my presence, their behavior is very good. And they are very good, I am so happy. But the moment they went back to their native places, they became like ordinary students. And the parents are all scared. Why is my boy behaving like this? I am getting a bad name for them. But it's not fair. I am really worried about it, he said. After two days, he wanted me to give a talk on that subject. And then I, for about two minutes, was talking about it. Later on, I said, Swami said like this. What is it that we should do now? So I said, give me an example. I'll give an example. I said, <coughs> there is a, a rich man. He's there. He has got a car. He's got a driver. And he said, keep the car ready, my dear boy. I have to go to the office. He said, yes, sir. And he said, the rear seat. And... Uh, the owner put some Sai Bhajan tape. Bhajan, he does not, he wants to put some English music or Hindi music, but because of boss is sitting in the car, uh, whatever he says, he does it. And then he does not overtake, he does not, uh, he goes correctly. He wanted to smoke, but he cannot smoke. So he goes correctly, and when there is a junction, he stops the car, his friends call him, hello, hello, hello. He is afraid to talk to them because boss is there in the car, then slowly, without worrying, uh, without crossing the yellow line, he goes to the office, drops him, and then he says, go to the office, uh, go to the house, Mem Mem Sam wants to go for shopping. He said, yes sir. The moment he goes inside, he removes his tape recorder, he removes the side button, puts some English talk, he started smoking, he started overdriving, goes to the friends, take uh, put all the friends to sit in the car, go to the tea shop, have tea among ourselves, enjoy the presence of his, uh, his company, go to the office, uh, go to the house. Madam asks, why do you want to wait? Is, why so, bad? so uh, late? Traffic jam, madam. That is the answer he gives. Now, and you see the, the behavior between God, between the Lord was there in the car and Lord is not there in the car. So his behavior was there when the boss was in the car, very exemplary. But later on, you feel that he is not there, you are wagging his tail too much. So similarly, this car is your body. You are the driver. In the rear seat, Swami is seated there. If you have that feeling, Swami is seated there, all the 24 hours, you are with him. That is the highest sadhana. Simple. It's simple. So highest sadhana means not that you must be physically wrong. Everybody does 8 hours, 7 hours. It is 24 hours. And it does not require physical exercise to have this feeling. Develop that feeling. And for when I said so, immediately Swami was so happy and he materialized the region and gave it to me. Why I am telling you, that is, we should understand the feelings of Swami and we must put that in, the, in, in, in action. He will like it very much. So therefore, follow his principles. So many times, you know, most of our people, you know, you go, see, I was also like that about 30 years ago. But Swami was uh, talking. So I was uh, listening, a front row. Then after two days, you know, Swami used to call me. Eh, day for yesterday, I did not speak well, I say. No, what to do? How to give an answer? We just keep quiet. No, I did not speak at all. No, 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 this is no good. Why did I speak? Mm, keep quiet. So I came back home to the room. Swami is asking these questions. Next time, I took a note and sat there and what else Swami was asking, he put on taking notes. Then go back in the room, prepare a note for full full, uh, full script speech. Oh, Swami said like this. Again, after two days, yesterday I did not speak well, Swami. No, Swami, he spoke well. What did I speak? Swami, he said, he, this point he said, this is you said, that is you said. Did I? Did I say, did I speak? Yes, Swami, you said like this. 
कि दे वॉट इज इट मीन ही इज टेस्टिंग मी हाउ मच यू लव मी सी आर बिफोर दर्श मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो आई फ्रॉम इज लेक्चर वॉट ए ग्रेट स्पीच इज फ्रॉम वॉट इट इज ए अरे यू डोंट नो मै यू डिट लैट कम यू डिट लैट यू शुड आर कम सी आई एंजॉय वेरी मच वॉट डिट यू एंजॉय नो द आंसर इज नील तो दैट इज दैट इज हिपोक्रेसी डोंट नो हिपोक्रेसी विद स्वामी सी आई लव हिम आई से लव हिम इफ यू लव हिम ऑटोमेटिकली यू यू कैन लर्न ऑल दिस थिंग यू डोंट यू डू नॉट एज लॉन्ग एज यू रिक्वेयर अ ह्यूमन बॉडी दैट सॉल द माइंड इज ब्लैंक लेट इट बी लेट इट बी द चाइल्ड इज माइंड इज योर चाइल्ड माइंड ऑफ द चाइल्ड इज ब्लैंक लेट इट बी बट स्लोली शी अंडरस्टैंड द लव ऑफ मदर इज इट Who taught her? The, uh, she got to school to know how his mother like uh, loves her. No, or how he should love mother. No. By practice, you can. But nothing new in the practice. So be a child to the to, to the mother. So she actually she will get all the affection from the child from the mother. So you also be a child, devotee. Call devotee means what do you mean by devotee? We also say devotee, devotee, devotee. What do you mean by devotee? I am devoted. Devoted for what? Devotee means single point attention. You should not think any other thing other than him in your mind, in your thought, in your action. That is called patiyurata bhakti. That is said in Bhagavad Gita. But if you change the forms according to your wishes, according to it is called uh, it is called uh, vavishari bhakti. So better follow patiyurata bhakti. Keep the heart. There is only one heart is given. You are not given several heart. There may be several forms. You take any form you like. As I said, in the, any form you like. Ekam Shat Vipra Bauda Vidanti. Take any form you like. You take Ram Krishna. You take Rama. You take Subramanya. You take Ganesha. Give that form in a place in your heart. That is Jula. Enjoy His presence in your heart. Keep it with you. Even God, God comes and tells you to change it. Don't change it. Be firm in that. Then you can see. You will certainly be. You such people do not have rebirth. So you, you Christians also they should use the word salvation. We use the word moksha. You use the word culmination. We use the word uh, reaching a heaven. What is heaven? Why why kuntam? What is why kuntam? In, in Sanskrit, why kuntam means a place where there is nothing is lacking. Everything is. So what is kailasam? Kailas is the place where come. Completely peace is maintained, calmness is maintained. The same thing you can maintain here in this world, material world, provided you have him in your heart. If you have that in your heart, naturally, when you leave the body, you are also in Kailasam. You go to Kailasam, you go to Vaikuntha. So learn to live in Kailasam, in Vaikuntha. Uh, even you are in the, as long as you are in this in this heart with this body, human body. Brothers and sisters, in conclusion. You should keep Swami in your heart all the twenty-four hours. You should feel that you are not one in this body. You are the second second personality that is called Paramatma, Atma Paramatma. That's what Bhagavad Gita also says. If you are able to take, take, uh, prove this to yourself, then you are suddenly rich. You are rich in God. You are no birth again. You are no birth again. You need not be a scholar. You need not be a singer. You need not be an expert in education. All these matters. Have you given a place, a permanent, eternal place for Swami in your heart as long as you live? I am there. Only thing you are not realizing it. You have to realize at the time of birth. See, for example, what happened to Parishit? We read in my Bhagavatam. Parishit was about to come out of the mother's body. And uh, a Brahmastha has been sent by Aswatthama. Then what happened? Lord Krishna goes there, stands before before the uh, before the baby, and accepts the Aswatthama Brahmastha as a garland. And baby saw a divine form. That is known. As, that's why he is known as Parikshit. He came out of the body, started examining who who was there before me, who was there before me. So that kind of a feeling. The the, the story. What the story is. You have to see Swami, enjoy Bhagwan Swami in your heart at the beginning. That's why our elders go, go to, they will take you to temple, they take you to puja, perform all this in the beginning. Finally, you must keep Swami in your heart. Keep your Swami in your heart. 
nothing else is required. That is the highest sadhana in Kali Yuga. Sairam to you, Sairam to you. Oh.